as the city, uh, we, we've actually put uh, things on our ITP, you know, uh, actually with the goal of trying, maybe before I can even speak of sustainability, but now just to have uh, an energy generation station in a Gorulani. As you know, we are surrounded by municipalities like your city of, uh, of Twane, uh, City Power, where traditionally they also run their own, you know, uh, generation station. But these are these are these are these are historical you know, issues. But now, for City of Ekuruleni, being the industrial hub of the country, we don't have such right. So now, the idea at first was just to, gen- I mean, to develop our own generation capacity. But now over the years, obviously that has now been taken over by having something renewable, you know. So now we as a city we've actually approved it's a it's a it's a it's an it's an energy and climate change response strategy where we actually plan that at least by 2030, 30 percent or 30 to 40 percent of our supply should come from renewable. And at least by 2050, we are aiming to get around 50 percent of our supply coming from renewable. So as a city, you've got almost 56 ESCOM intake points, and then that totals to around 2.5 gigawatts of demand that we get from ESCOM. So from that, we definitely want to reduce that uh, uh, at least uh, by 40% uh, renewable. So that is that is how the city plans to, you know, to be such a remain sustainable as well. So as you all know that now, most industries are in, in Ekuruleni, they also do have their own green energy, uh, sustainability, sustainability energy targets. So we also try to also assist that, uh, them with that because now sometimes we also do get calls, you know, from companies, you know, requesting, Hendrik, how much of your supply is renewable, you know? So now if this, if the cities within the Kuruleni are able to leverage, you know, our own sustainability goals, then that's good for us. And then again, that is the only way we can remain you know, sustainable in this changing environment. So yeah, I think that is a that is a that is a that is our that is our aim and that is our that is our vision, and then we have actually put that into practice. Where in 2017 we have actually appointed around 47 uh, independent power producers who are actually going to sell the uh, renewable or clean energy to the city, uh, just below 700 megawatts. So that that was what actually the total. Uh, uh, megawatts that you now we propose on our first bid window of independent power producers. So we've done that, and again recently we've actually uh, advertised and a request for proposal to actually supplement or to in addition to our first bid window for IPPs. So that tender RFP was actually published last week on Friday, and then the tender uh, documentation definitely will be uploaded on our website. So that is actually. You know, uh, in our drive to push the targets that we've put, you know, forth for 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 our city. So that is how that is a vision of a Kuruleni where we actually want to remain sustainable. And then we realize that if we don't do that, unfortunately, the market is changing at a rapid pace, and they will be left behind. So we also still want to protect our business as, as well as we know that most of our revenue that we derive as a municipality, uh, it comes from the sale of electricity. And then, but now we then need to, to remain sustainable so that we, we, we safeguard that, uh, that market share of selling our electricity to our customers. So that is the, that is a vision uh, of Ekuruleni in terms of staying, you know, sustainable and also adapting to the current uh, changes in the, in the environment and in the, in the whole uh, value chain.